So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm Sam Hamill. Uh, I run a company called Big Old Fish Limited. Um, we have an online store which sells marine, tropical, cold water and pond uh, livestock and aquarium equipment. Uh, we also have a store in Manchester which opens on Saturday the 11th of November, which is tomorrow. And uh, that uh, sells all of the products that we sell online uh, and it's basically our operating base. Uh, I also have an office in Carnarvon, uh, which, which I work from, sort of manage uh, the, the overall company from. Uh, but our main distribution and everything takes place in Manchester. Uh, and in, alongside all of this as well, I'm also a third year marine biology student at Bank University. I think Big Ideas Wales Bootcamp was really good and it is a really good resource for young entrepreneurs and especially young people. Um, I mean, you have the tendency when you're starting a business and you start researching things, looking into things, and you've you know you spent seven eight months developing your idea. You have the tendency to think that you know all everything that you can about what you're going to do and starting up and what it entails and where to get the money from and how to do this and how to do that. When really, actually, when you sit back and you attend something like Big Ideas Wales Bootcamp, you realise you couldn't be more wrong, <laughs> and uh, there's so much more you can learn. And it um, when I went, I. I realised how much I needed to develop my marketing strategy, how much more I could do to protect my brand and in my business the brand is a really key element that sort of sets us apart and is our platform that we use in all areas to move forward to sort of the overarching strength of the business and so to have left it open like I initially did was a really key issue that I needed to fix and I, that was that was the help for the help of Big as well. Well obviously I'm at uh, Bang University studied marine biology um, and we had a careers lecture where we looked at the percentage of students, uh, the conversion rate between um, graduation and roles in academia and jobs as a, a graduate level um, compared to people that either don't get a job or go into um, undergraduate level jobs. Um, and it was 67% and then the national average for marine sciences was only 54 and I kind of thought why Why am I leaving 40% to chance um, and I'm the kind of, I just don't like leaving anything to buy. I like to have control of everything from beginning to end and I think that's why I've had the success I've had so far with the business but I just couldn't leave it to chance and I thought well if if I'm not going to get a job, or there's a chance I'm not going to get a job, then I'll make myself one. Um, and I'd had ideas, because um, I'd been in the industry for a while, I'd had ideas based on the flaws of the industry and the improvements that I thought could be made and how a business should be run in the industry. And uh, that sort of led me to start the business as a, as a whole, to be honest. I would probably say be confident in your idea, uh, don't let people lead you astray too much, um, focus on your figures, if your figures work then do it, if the figures don't work and everything's screaming at you from those numbers to not do it, unless you can make those numbers work, don't, because you'll just end up wasting lots of your money and lots of your time, but if you've got, if the figures say it will work then give it everything you've got because it's well worth it, you won't regret it, even if you end up losing tens of thousands of pounds and spending a year of your life working on something that fails, it'll, the life lessons you learn and all of the lessons you learn in, in general, their experience you won't find anywhere else, in any job or anything. The amount of stress, learning how to cope with all that stress, learning how to meet important people in business and deal with them in a set in, in some ways manipulate them to get what you want for your business learning how to play the game and learning to not let people take advantage of you um, which especially for people that are involved in big ideas Wales and, and you know young entrepreneurs that is a risk they, they have to in, inherently carry they are young people in you know young man in an old man's game that's what the, that's what they're saying. Um, and you have to be very careful, very careful, but it is well worth every single second. The biggest challenge to my business, uh, there's two main challenges to be fair, that I, can, I couldn't split apart. 
Uh, first is money, um, and I've I've managed to solve that through grant funding, through finding investors, um, working very hard to finance a lot of it myself, um, and that that's been resolved over time just through hard work essentially um, and finding the right people. Um, the other is that in the industry that I'm in, uh, you're not allowed to open up an online store unless you've got a retail store. The manufacturers and the distributors, they just block you from doing it, no one's ever done it. And we managed to do that um, because of the partnership we developed with a retail store um, and if it hadn't have been for the way uh, I developed that partnership, then none of this would have happened. Um, and it, sort of the, the immediate success of the business carrying on and continuing and us now opening the store in Manchester and having the online store, it's all down to that one partnership agreement um, and, and how that started and how that, that protected us moving forward and got us into the game. Uh, in five years time I'd like to be in an ideal world on a beach in Thailand, uh, in, a, in a nice little villa with a pool. Uh, whether that happens or not we'll have to wait and see. Um, but my, my main goal for the next five years is to um, be running a company that is uh, successful, has made ac important acquisitions and is a, is a strong brand that has not only a, set, a resale value but um, you know, and has, has provided me with a decent income um, that's livable and uh, has, has reached a level that I see it reaching. I don't think there are any entrepreneurs that I would see myself idolising in a way um, because I think idolising someone as Whilst it may help people, I think you're better off having an actual mentor, uh, someone who guides you, rather than idolising someone in your head and wanting to be like them. For instance, take um, you know, Larry Page, Steve Jobs, the, the list is endless of successful billionaire entrepreneurs, especially in the tech industry. What's the point in idolising them and wanting to be so like them? You then lose focus on who you are and what you are, what you can do and who you can do. There's no point comparing yourself. They've got billions of dollars and you know thousands and thousands of staff. You're, you're trying to follow in their footsteps is not a good idea. You need to make your own footsteps and focus on doing that because you will never, or I don't think you will ever make money um, and be successful by trying to follow in someone else's footsteps. Everyone that makes. Uh, a big success of themselves, everyone that makes a ton of money, they all do it by taking their own path and finding their own walk, finding their own set of footsteps. Um, that's why you don't have, Uber doesn't really have a rival, that's why Amazon um, is so big and so different from everything it does, that's why Apple has you know, competed so well with Microsoft, they went a completely different angle, they didn't, com they didn't make the same operating system, the same tech. They, they make things completely differently and their, their business is completely different. So trying to follow in someone else's footsteps as an entrepreneur is pointless. You don't need an idol, you need yourself.